So once again, welcome to Jim's Kitchen. Uh, this is something my wife tells me I need to put together. Uh, once again, uh, I didn't come up with this. This is just something I saw uh, on the internet. And I've uh, decided to uh, take my own uh, spin on it, if you will. And so, how? what's today's uh, we're going to do for breakfast? Uh, we're going to have the perfect steak. And you can do this at home. Um, and it's very simple. And so, uh, let's get started. So, as we get going here, I kind of get to... Instead of uh, showing you guys all this, basically all I've done is taken a uh, uh, pan and covered it with foil. I usually put seasoning on the bottom before I put the steak on, and then I put the seasoning on top also. You can season the taste uh, as the carnivores. Uh, once again, your DNA, uh, whatever works for you. Uh, I'm not here to judge. Uh, it's just I would be uh, what some people would call a dirty carnivore or a ketovore. But uh, basically, uh, what you want to do is set your oven to about, I, I set mine to about 205. Each oven will vary. And we're going to leave it in here for about 30 minutes. I think somebody thinks they're going to get part of my breakfast this morning. What do you think? Got to love them doggies. So as I get this rolling here, we're going to go ahead and melt the butter. Now, you don't have to put butter in, the, in your pan. Um, I do this. Uh, it tends to uh, sear up a lot better and what we're going to do is we're going to pull the steak out of the oven it's been about 30 minutes or so and we're going to go ahead and let this uh, melt here and if we take a look now me personally I like about 180 degrees what you can tell is the outside of the steak will almost be what you want the inside of the steak to look like. And so we're going to go ahead and check this real quick. And so we're about where I want to be. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the oven while we finish letting the butter melt be too long. Alright, close enough for me. I'm going to pull this out. Okay, now I'm going to put this right on the butter pad. Now what we're going to do is we're going to let this uh, uh, sear for two to three minutes. You kind of want it to have a little bit high on your uh, stove top. So we're going to give this two, two to three minutes on this side. We're going to flip it over. Do two, three minutes on the other side, and I'll let you see what we got. So now we're going to go ahead. It's been sitting here for about two, three minutes. We're going to flip the sucker over. You can see it's here. If you want it uh, darker than that on your outside, you can go ahead and leave it on there longer or just flip it over again. So we're going to sear both sides, and I'm going to show you what the inside looks like and why I cook my steaks this way. All right, so let's cut the... Uh, a uh, couple minutes on the inside. We're going to take this off, put that off to the side. As long as I don't spill things on the blooming stove. Okay, that real quick. Sorry about that, folks. And so we can take a look here, and let's take a close look at what this steak looks on the looks like on the inside. If I sit here and I cut this open. You can see it is nearly perfect on both sides. Mm. And of course, my dogs, they want a piece of this. I'll oh, see if I may not give them any. <laughs> but you can see this looks almost perfect. If you like your steak a little more done, you just leave it in the oven longer. Um, but for me, that's a perfect steak every time. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, this was something my wife felt I should show you guys. So, proof in the pudding. Mmm. 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 Good stuff.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit like and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching, and God bless. Uh, until next time, I'll talk to you later.